Let's have a look at another related rates problem. If you haven't done so already, pause the video and read through the question. Okay, I'll assume you've read through the question now. Let's start with a diagram. We've got our rocket just being launched vertically upwards. So it's traveling along the straight line. And it got launched from a launch pad. Uh, five kilometers from the launch pad is this radar station. So maybe I'll just draw it over here. Here's our radar station. Five kilometers from the launch pad, so this is a distance of five kilometers. And this radar station is tracking the rocket, so it's got it in its direct line of sight. And we suppose that the angle of elevation of the line of sight is theta. Okay, so that means this is angle theta here. That's angle theta in the diagram, our angle of elevation of the line of sight. And we know a little bit of information about that, so we'll get to that in a second. What is the velocity of the rocket at that instant? What is the velocity? Well, if we're going to want to talk about velocity, that means the rate of change in position, we should indicate a variable which represents the position of the rocket. And where should we measure its position from? Where's our fixed frame of reference? Well, probably the launch pad. It's being launched vertically upwards, so maybe we'll just measure its distance and from the, the launch pad, or in other words, its height. So we'll call that the height of the rocket, h. And I think we've got probably all the bits of information we need from the question. So we can go ahead and describe our quantities now. The independent variable is time. We'll denote it by t. And the units of measure are going to be seconds, since that's what's already used in the question. We also have that h of t is the height of the rocket at time t and its units of measure are going to be kilometers, since this is the units that uh, was used in the question to describe the distance that the station is from the, the launch pad. And we'll let theta of t be the angle of inclination at time t of this line of sight. And its units of measure are, we need to be careful here because the question lists degrees in it, but remember we never use degrees in a calculus problem. We always use radians, always radian measure for angles in calculus. So we'll have to specify that the units of theta are in radians and then do some conversions. At this point, it might be worthwhile going through and making sure we have a good mental picture of what's going on in our head. We've got our static diagram of our rocket being launched. But you always want to have this moving picture in your head with related rates problems. You always want to have this idea that, okay, things are moving, what else is moving? Those help you identify the quantities. We've got all those listed already, but let me just show you what's in my head for this kind of a problem. So here's what I have. I have an image of a rocket and a station that's tracking it. And then I imagine the rocket launching and increasing in speed. So I already start to see that things that are moving are, well, the, the height of the rocket is changing. The angle of inclination for this line of sight is changing. So there's this angle, this height. These things are changing in time. This is what I have in my head. Now we're interested in what's going on at a particular angle when the angle is, well given in the question, when the angle is 60 degrees or pi by 3 radians. But we want to have the whole image in our head, not just that precise moment, but what's going on for the whole thing. This rocket is launching, it's increasing in speed, and we're interested in what is the speed of the rocket at the precise moment when the angle is pi by 3 radians, and we know something about how fast the angle is increasing. That, the knowledge about how fast that angle is increasing would be uh, kept as sort of one of the data points in this, in this observation center. So we know how fast the angle of observation is increasing. Can we use that to determine how fast the rocket is going? What is the rate of change in its height? Let's write down what we know about these quantities. So in the question, we have that the elevation angle theta of the line of sight to the rocket is increasing at 3 degrees per second when theta is 60 degrees. So remember, we're, we're not working in degrees. We work in radians. So the first thing we need to do is say, okay, when theta is 60 degrees, but we want it to be in radians, so we'll multiply by that conversion factor of pi by 180. So when it's pi by 3 radians, when theta is pi by 3 radians, we have that the rocket, that the angle, elevation angle of the line of sight to the rocket, so this theta is increasing at a rate of 3 degrees per second. 
So theta is increasing at a rate of 3 degrees per second. That means its derivative, d theta dt, when theta is pi by 3, is, well, there's two bits of information we need to keep in mind when we read a statement like this. It's increasing. So theta is increasing, so its derivative should be positive. And then its magnitude is given here, 3 degrees per second. So it's a positive 3 degrees per second. But we should convert that to radians per second since theta is in radians, t is in seconds. The units of our derivative, d theta dt, should be radians per second. So this is 3 times our conversion factor of pi by 180, or in other words, pi by 60 radians per second. So that's the rate we know. What do we want to know? What do we want to know? Well, scanning back to the question, what is the velocity of the rocket at that instant? What is the velocity of the rocket? What is the velocity of the rocket? Well, velocity is going to be the rate of change in the height. So this means we want to know what dh by dt is when theta is pi by 3. That's what we want to know. And when you're doing these kinds of things, you just do quick mental checks about what you expect as an answer. dh by dt, do we expect that to be positive or negative? Well, we want to know whether as t changes, does, is h increasing in value or decreasing in value? Well, as the rocket takes off, the height should be increasing. So its rate of change should be positive. So we expect dh by dt to be a positive value. And just a couple of things, you know, as you're going through these problems, you just want to make mental notes of what you expect for answers and, and do sign checks in your head as well to make sure you, you know, as we did here with d theta dt, we made sure that we had a positive pi by 60 written down because of the term increasing or the word increasing in the question. Okay, so now we have what we know, what we want to know. What do we do next? Well, we find a relationship between the quantities. And for this, we're going to use the diagram. So we have theta, 5, and h. And the relationship between these quantities coming from geometry is, well, the tangent function. So tan of theta equals h over 5. Or in other words, h equals 5 tan theta. So there's our relationship between our quantities. Now we go ahead and find a relationship between their rates of change. And so differentiating through this expression with respect to t, we get dh by dt is equal to 5. The derivative of tangent theta with respect to t, well here we have to remember that theta is a function of t. So this is a composition. Outside function is the tangent function. Its derivative is secant squared, evaluated at the inside, times the derivative of the inside. So we're using the chain rule here, d theta dt. Now we have the relationship between the rates of change. So we substitute in all the known information. So when theta is pi by 3, we have that dh by dt, theta equals pi by 3, is equal to 5 secant squared pi by 3 times d theta dt when theta is pi by 3. What we want to know is on the left. We have all the information on the right, so let's just pop everything in. Uh, just remember that secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so this is the same as cosine of pi by 3, all squared. d theta dt, when theta is pi by 3, we found that to be pi by 60 above. That was the known information. And Cosine of pi by 3, that's a half, so a half squared is a quarter. 5 divided by a quarter is 20. 20 times pi by 60 is pi by 3. And what are the units of measure here? Well, this is h is in kilometers, t is in seconds, so this is kilometers per second. Now let's just see what this is in terms of uh, the units kilometers per hour. So this is pi by 3 kilometers per second. So we're going to multiply by how many seconds there are in an hour. That's 60 seconds in a minute times 60 minutes in an hour. So this is kilometers per hour. 
which is, well, 3 goes into 60 to leave 20. 20 times 60 is, so that's 1,200 pi kilometers per hour. And that's approximately then, uh, well, 3,000, about 3,770 kilometers per hour. So that's about how fast the, the rocket's going. So let's write down our concluding statement. The rocket is traveling at a speed of 1,200 pi kilometers per hour. And that's it for this problem.